that head teachers want schools closed early. That's on the Yes, I've seen that. Yeah, but also there was a push by Professor Magoha and uh, C.S. Matiangi to restore corporal punishment. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm, I'm, but I, I always ask my mother, and I tell my mother that um, you really used to whip me a lot, and she always tells me that uh, if I didn't, you probably wouldn't be where you are. Um, there's, uh, there's uh, what is called, um, you know, just, just the word corporal punishment itself is a bit scary. But there's that where you punish um, a, a child with you feeling the pain uh, probably more than the child uh, himself or herself. Uh, but the problem that ended up being there was that a lot of uh, head teachers would end up taking matters into levels yeah. that are too extreme. So this is why these particular laws were put into place. Um, maybe not corporal punishment, but I mean, I studied in a boarding school and uh, some of the things that we would have to do was uh, wake up uh, ext extremely early. You know, part of um, uh, discipline yeah. being induced into us, um, whether it's about digging a very, very large hole or whatever it is, yeah. uh, there is uh, probably more than just uh, caning and hurting someone. There are better ways that we can be able to, uh, to, 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 to do this um, um, for someone to actually feel that level of responsibility as well. Yeah, but also should the schools be closed early the way they are suggesting? I, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, they are asking for schools to be closed earlier than, uh, than March, uh, for, for the exams not to be held uh, in March and people to just close and, uh, and go home. Yeah. Um, then you, you need to justify the reason as to why. No. It cannot be, and I'll tell you what the other problem that is uh, actually there, trend. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna give my personal uh, examples. I. I had a principal yeah. called Mr. Maneno. He won an, an award recently. With uh, he was uh, given honors by the president. And during our time, we were in a boarding school, and um, the staff decided to go on strike. Ideally, that would have been a very, very um, perfect way for any student to go on a rampage. Yeah. And uh, for a good, if I'm not mistaken, it was about 14 days. We took shifts between ourselves and the teachers to actually cook. Um, and all of it just lied down yeah. with one basic issue, the person who's heading the institution. And uh, uh, head teachers need to take some form of responsibility on yeah. this. Um, and um, just bring in a level of discipline, bring in a level of student actually feeling that they, they're part and parcel of the school, yeah. that they love the school. Okay. Uh, we have all student associations. Can you imagine a few years from today, are we actually gonna have any all student associations? Do, do you feel that people are gonna be proud mm. of institutions that they've actually come from? considering that they're ready to burn down these particular institutions to ashes, leave nothing for those who are going to come after. And all this is nothing else except, uh, if you ask me, at the time when we have digital, uh, we're living in a digital world, yeah. whether they like it or not, as much as they're going to be doing um, roll calls and checks and everything, probably they're most likely ins instances where students have mobile phones as well. Yeah. And they're seeing whatever is happening is somewhere else. So this happens, close an institution down. Mm. Um, and then after you close that particular school down, people say that, you know, let's try and do the same thing. Yeah. In fact, this is something that we hope does not induce and does not encourage yeah. uh, students to start going on, uh, on a feeling that uh, this is what their head teachers want. Okay.
Uh, if, if I was actually the, the head teachers and this is what was happening, I'd actually prefer these discussions to be done in camera. Okay. Uh, Gagusha, there are three proposals now. There was first the return of the cane to stop schools unrest. Now the head teachers are saying schools should be closed earlier. There was also a debate on whether boarding schools should just be abolished. What are your thoughts on this? Will this help with dealing with the unrest in schools? Well, well one, one of the things I would like to point out here is we are uh, facing a challenge that uh, has, has been there, has been underlying, but it has been exposed by the challenges that have come with uh, COVID-19. You remember we had uh, a time of uh, school closure for more than one year, and uh, children stayed at home, and uh, most of them did not get as much attention as they ought to have uh, uh, received, especially when it comes to issues of discipline. You know, young children are used to certain routine from the time they are young, and once you expose them now to um, a life without routine, free time for more than one year, you expect some of these challenges that uh, will come. Uh, the other thing also that happened when ch uh, children stayed at home for more than one year is that uh, many parents did not also take time to bond with their children. Yeah. They were probably more anxious, more busier, and also uh, not very keen to, to enhance the discipline that ordinarily has been enhanced in schools. Well, the proposals to return the cane, uh, to me, I think, is an excellent proposal. Uh, so sometimes people have confused the uh, caning of uh, students to corporal punishment. And uh, to me, I think corporal punishment should be uh, something different altogether. Uh, the issue of uh, caning, uh, particularly when it is done in the right way, uh, in a modest manner, moderately, it is something that should be encouraged. Um, I mean, issues of uh, life, as much as issues of governance and issues of discipline have to do with reward and uh, punishment. So a human being must know that when they do a certain thing, they will be rewarded. When they don't do a certain thing, they will be punished or vice versa. Now, the moment you want to remove the issue of punishment from, this, from the students, yeah. uh, you, you, are, you are removing a very, very key, important principle of life. And the uh, caning of students should be able to instill discipline in them. Now, this is good when it is done uh, moderately, in a modest manner, and decently, and done by uh, uh, teachers who, I want to believe, care about the well-being of the students so that they're not being punished for the sake of punishment. They're not being caned for, this, for the sake of caning. And even when the caning is done, it's done in a manner uh, which is uh, corrective in nature. Uh, the issue of closure of schools, early closure of schools, definitely that uh, may not solve our problems because, you know, why are we closing late in the year? It's because we're trying to catch up with the program. We're trying to cover up for the lost time. We're trying to get back into the normal cycle, uh, the program that we have. So if, if we're going to be closing early, what does that mean? Are we going now to reduce the school, the school days? Are students going to be ready for examinations, particularly the national examinations? Um, and we close schools and take children back home. Are the parents ready and willing to take keen interest on the students' behavior yeah. and to guide them as they should? Uh, or are they so busy trying to fend for them and trying to fend for themselves and try to act a living? I mean, all those are challenges that uh, we, we are facing today. Okay. But when all is it and done, yeah. I would want to remind our parents that uh, the buck stops with them. Okay. When the student and the child doesn't behave well, even if they ban the school or whatever yeah. they do, uh, generally the person who will take this burden, the person who will carry all these troubles yeah. is mainly the parent, okay. both financial, psychological, yeah. and otherwise. Okay. Let's now talk about the 2022 game plan, and this is what we're talking about now. 